This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the typical blue haze from scenic photos, which is an atmospheric uh, distortion that happens as uh, distances pass and um, there are some clouds and haze coming through. Typically, an image, as it goes further and further out in the distance, will shift to more of a blue cast. So we're going to learn how to uh, you know, color correct the photo, remove that blue haze, and make it um, as, as it should have been. Uh, so let's have a look here. So here we have... The image here, it's quite a nice uh, scenic photo here. And as you can see here, uh, from the distance, as we get further and further, we start getting a bit of that blue haze coming through here. And also the, the image here, nothing is, it's, it's pretty flat here, the, um, the, the colors here of the, of the image. So we're just going to just do a, an overall color adjustment here and remove that blue and so forth. So the first step here is uh, to create an adjustment layer. We're going to go ahead and click on Levels. And now we're going to go into each of our channels and correct the, uh, the, the level output of each of the channels. So if we go in here into red, as you can see here, there's no information here all the way to this point here. So what we need to do is just move the slider so that we get to the point where the actual information in the image begins for the red channel. We're going to move it to the green and then we're going to move it to the blue so that we have and already we start color correcting the photo. So let's uh, move this here and I'll show you the before and the after. So we're adding some contrast and we're actually color correcting a bit of the photo. Now you might ask why did we do uh, for each one of these channels ins instead of just moving the uh, RGB one here because it looked a bit similar. Well the reason for that is that each uh, the RGB would just m move uh, uh, an average of all of the channels together and if we do the red we can put move the red exactly to where the red begins. So the red begins at 27 uh, the green moves at 25 and the blue at 15. So there's a bit of a difference there. And if you just do it with the average, you're not doing uh, to the most correct thing. So if you want to have your uh, your image color corrected, it's better to do it in each of the channels. Now we are going to make one modification to all of the channels at once. So we need to go back in here into our RGB. And that modification here is changing the uh, gray setting for the image. So the gray point. So we're going to click here for the sample in image to set a gray point. So we're going to click on that. And now we're going to go ahead and click on an area of the image that is supposed to be gray. Now before I do this, let me just show you something that is important to have first. So let me just backtrack just a little bit. I'll click OK for now. And that is on your eyedropper tool, because we're essentially using the eyedropper tool to select the gray. You want to make sure that your eyedropper tool is set here at a 5x5 five five average instead of a point sample. 5x5 five five means that it'll just take 5 pixels by 5 pixels image area and it will average out the color between these 5 things so you're not getting an anomaly of just one pixel that is radically different from all the others that you can noticeably pick up. So let's go back in here and, uh, and do that now. So we're going to go ahead and click on our um, gray point here and now we're going to set the gray point. So we're going to make sure that uh, we click on an area that looks like it's a 50% gray. So it's between um, white and black. So 50% gray seems pretty good around here. And as you can see, that makes already a world of a difference by clicking on it and we're already starting to color calibrate the image so that the greens are actually now popping out. We still have the blue cast problem, but we're going to fix that right now. So we're going to head and click OK. And now we're going to go into our adjustment layers again, go into hue and saturation. And now we want to, instead of editing anything here in the master one, which would select all the channels, we want to go into our blues, which is the case of our problem here with the atmosphere. And now we just want to set the saturation back. We're going to knock it back to around 50%, 60%, thereabouts. It depends how much you want to go. You don't want to go too far out so that the image loses a lot of color. So you might want to just eyeball this one here. And uh, you can also tick off the preview to see the before and then the after, and then continue making an adjustments. I think around 50 works really well for this image here. We removed some of that blue in the image that was right there. So we're going to and click OK. And now, as you can see, we have a fully color corrected photo with the blue cast removed and the greens actually popping out. So let me show you the before. That's the before, and that is the after, and that is a much better photo.
If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.